Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the RTR Bowling Show. In today's video, we're going to do, um, for me, uh, what everybody else is doing uh, this week and what I'm doing for a few other customers this week, and that is thinking about and putting together our arsenal for the upcoming league season. So we'll go over uh, what balls we're choosing uh, for our league bag, uh, and we're going to talk about uh, what balls we're going to choose for our tournament bag as well. Um, and obviously, you know, there'll be some changes throughout the year. But this will be the balls that we start with um, for the upcoming season. There'll be six of them, five including a spare ball. Okay? Uh, spoiler alert, the spare ball is going to carry over. So we'll be going with the mix. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay? So stick around. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, in, in the one ball spot, we got the Harsh Reality Pearl. Obviously, you're looking for a ball for the fresh. You want something that's going to be able to dig in the, in the oil of the lane, um, but still not, uh, not overreact to the dry. So you generally want something that's pretty strong, um, but maybe not uh, you know, shiny and angular. You want something that's kind of smooth. So I went with the Harsh Reality Pearl. I took the surface off it, uh, and this is our one ball uh, for this year, Harsh Reality Pearl. Okay, uh, I tend to like, I uh, generally like to have a couple of options at the top of the bag for the fresh, um, just because um, sometimes I have a hard time getting the ball to slow down and make uh, make the ball turn. So um, at the top of the bag in the two spot, I like the Eternity Pie. I put a little bit more surface on it, and uh, if the lanes are a little bit tighter in the front than uh, we typically see, um, I might use this one, or if I want to go a little straighter, and uh, kind of rub up against the dry, I might use this one. Um, it keeps me you know, in the pocket and it gives me a pretty controllable look, so I will use the Eternity Pie as the smoother option on the fresh. All right, so once you're out of the fresh, um, the ball you need after that is usually something that is going to be a little cleaner, um, still a strong ball, but something that's a little cleaner. Um, and I generally like uh, balls like this Absolute Power. It's got an R2S cover stock, um, so R2 S deep, so it's a little actually it's quite a bit cleaner than uh, the Harsh Reality Pearl as well as uh, the Eternity Pie, but it's still a very strong uh, ball. The core numbers are really strong. Um, I put a pretty strong layout on it, so it flares quite a bit, and uh, this ball gives me just the right look when I need just a little bit more length, but still need plenty of uh, hook uh, out of the ball. So this is my what I would call my three ball. Uh, for this uh, for this year's pattern Okay, now generally uh, for the league bag I don't need anything too weak because we never see enough uh, transition or Really enough friction where um, I can't get in and get the ball through the front uh, Having the ball slow down and get the ball to hook is my is usually my difficulty um, So I don't need a lot of weak balls, but at the bottom of my bag in the in the fourth and fifth balls um, are these two right here. I use the Optimum Idol, which is pretty new. Um, I like this one. Um, and I use the uh, Summit, the regular OG Summit. Uh, the Summit's a little smoother than the Idol. The Idol has a little bit more down lane motion, um, but they're both about the same strength. So for me, you know, if I need something that's really smooth, um, but you know, give me the ability to play pretty straight, but not be as early and as slow and as uh, diggy as my top end bag stuff these two balls here are my choice and obviously the optimum idol if i'm looking for something that's gonna be a little bit stronger down lane i use this one a little smoother i'll use this one um and then of course after these two is my spare ball okay so the one thing we didn't talk about was the tournament bag uh this is my tournament bag i add to uh, my my house shot stuff um i got a phase two um so early and smooth it's pinned down. I don't have a lot of pinned down stuff, but this one is pinned down. Uh, very continuous, um, very smooth, very controllable, um, with a little bit more surface. Um, if I need a little bit less surface, but still a nice controllable motion, um, these two balls are very, very good 
um, on the tournament stuff uh, especially. This is a duo. Uh, it's actually that, that three and uh, three quarter pin. Um, and this eternity is four and three quarters. Um, so these two balls, um, both are cleaner than in my phase two, but they still give me that uh, nice, smooth, controllable reaction down lane. Um, so if I need uh, in a tournament condition where you gotta get it through the front because they're, they're burnt up, they're drier, uh, but you still want a controllable motion that's not gonna be jerky and, and too angular and hard to control on a, on a sport pattern, these two balls are the choice along with my phase two is the my tournament bag all right and that'll do it okay so this is the spare ball um, I'm fairly new to the spare ball thing I uh, bowled for about 25 years without a spare ball or so um, but um, I don't hook it enough to worry about the ball hooking at my 10 pins uh, so I've never really used a spare ball I just kind of flatten my wrist and go straight at it but um, the spare ball thing kind of allows me to throw my normal release not change anything just go right at the spares and the ball generally does not hook very much at all if at all um, so this mix um, I choose only because a it's storm but also um, it's a little bit more durable than the plastic is um, there's no cracking and things like that to worry about uh, with the mix so I, I you know because it is technically urethane so I like the mix for that reason also if I put a little service on it I could use it on the really 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 dry stuff um, so that it's a little bit more versatility for the mix. Uh, and the other thing is, I, I think this, the plastic balls, they hydroplane a lot more uh, than, the, than the urethane does. And I kind of like the way this uh, gives me, um, as far as the spare game goes. So I, I like the, the mix for, for a number of reasons. And I almost always like to use my spare ball as the holder for my Jopo. Uh, my backup Jopo thumb uh, stays in the spare ball. I don't switch thumbs for the spare ball or for the spares. Um, but if you know I for some reason have need a backup thumb, this is the thumb. This is where I keep the backup for my spare ball. All right. So this one doesn't really come out very often. Um, it pretty much stays in this ball uh, unless it was an emergency of some kind. One time I did leave my Jopo uh, thumb in another bag in a ball and I didn't have a thumb uh, so I had to use the spare ball thumb for that uh, so I generally don't leave home without your spare ball and this way I always have my backup thumb there okay and it also you know cuts down the amount of in and out in and out with the the thumb hole by not switching for the spare ball you don't have to worry about changing every time you throw a spare uh, so I like to keep my backup in the spare ball all right and that's it that's our arsenal for um, the fall season at Lang's Invitational on Wednesday night. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you need any help or advice with your own arsenal, please let me know. Um, I just would like to say that uh, I do generally like to keep uh, the layouts pretty similar and I like to just vary the cover strength uh, as well as varying uh, symmetrical and asymmetrical stuff. For me, the asymmetrical stuff is really strong off the spot and the symmetrical stuff is really continuous down lane um, and so generally when I'm not carrying with one I can just you know go to a similar strength ball in the opposite type so if I have you know symmetrical it's not carrying um, I switch over to a symmetrical uh, an asymmetrical and suddenly the pins go down so uh, that's the way I like to do it uh, you may have a different system but um, that's why I like to mix symmetricals and asymmetricals and uh, just change my surfaces a little bit okay
Okay. <laughs>